the objective of over-unders is to improve what's termed lactate buffering and lactate shuttling, which, you know, it, don't get so caught up in the terminology, just see it more as dealing with lactate. How well does your body process this accumulation? So quick bioenergetics lesson. If we, if we talk about anaerobic glycolysis, so anytime we process, it's quick. Yeah. It, it will be quick. Anytime <laughs> we process sugar you know, or glucose, uh -huh. you know, whether it comes from, whether we eat it, whether it comes from the liver, where it's right there on the muscle, we break it, break glycogen down into glucose. Glucose is processed anaerobically uh -huh. every time you can't process it aerobically. So glucose goes through its uh, anaerobic glycolysis chain. The, uh, uh, one of the byproducts or one of the outputs is pyruvate. This is what we push into the mitochondria. This is what fuels aerobic metabolism. Mm -hmm. If this pyruvate, if we're working harder, 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 and this pyruvate starts to accumulate, the accumulation get, reaches a point where it's converted to lactate. Um, or yeah, when, when we can't, we don't have the, the mitochondrial capability of dealing with this pyruvate. The lactate is is the is what results, and, and the mm -hmm. lactate builds up. Eventually, it builds up to a point where it spills into the bloodstream, now we have a measurable increase in blood lactate. Mm. So muscle lactate is really what we'd like to measure, but it's pretty hard to measure what's going on in the muscle. It's much <laughs> easier to measure what's going on in the blood. It's also much easier to measure what's going on in the, in, in the air and then, of course, how we feel. Yeah. So this increase in blood level lactates actually correlates with a lowering of blood and muscle pH. Our, our blood and our muscles get more acidic. Mm -hmm. It's not the lactate causing it, but when lactate goes up, so does the acidity. Mm -hmm. So we can actually use this as a, as a surrogate for changes in muscle muscle ph hmm. we can actually see our muscles are getting more acidic and, and of course we, we feel it too so what we're looking to do is improve our lactate processing and basically forestall this lowering of our blood and muscle ph we hmm. want to make that acidity we want to postpone it as long as possible we want to do as more work as possible before that acidity becomes limiting mm -hmm. so all, all we're looking for is to increase the time that the body spends right here without incurring high levels of blood acidity we want our muscles to get used to this and to be able to, to ad or adapt such that we can keep on doing more and more work and all these adaptations come by doing that very thing right by exactly spending more yeah. time doing so that. so really that's that's all we're looking for flood the system clear the system flood the system clear the system let the adaptations take place when we recover after hard workouts like these yeah. but the other thing that we don't that maybe that never gets brought up because we're only looking at the physiology is the psychological aspect of it and over-unders <laughs> are hard they beat yeah. you up and they make you tough you learn mm -hmm. to do this you learn to get to that point of i can't take this any longer i need a break and then it dips you down into one of those recovery valleys, which just teases you with recovery. It doesn't give it to you right away. It takes, you know, maybe it's a three minute valley. It'll take all of that three minute valley to put you in a place where you feel like, okay, maybe I can exceed threshold again and load my muscles up again for two more minutes. I hope I can make it. Yeah. And this is one of the, this is the point of that's the clearing. So that's why after yeah. I do the over section during the under, the RP is actually increasing. My heart rate's yeah, actually going up. It doesn't brutal. feel any easier. And this is so awful. This is that psychological part where uh, when you're not, when you're maybe newer to these efforts and stuff, you're I like, I need that. to give up yeah. when really, if you just wait, just, just wait a little bit more, it's going to get a lot easier and these are, relatively. The, the <laughs> inspiration <laughs> for putting text behind these workouts is the easiest because I've done enough of them and I know how miserable they are that if you can coax people through those valleys and tell them, don't take a back pedal, you don't need it. You just want it. Just keep on going. Mm -hmm. yep. It will clear. And once you convince people of that, it's it's really affirming. I mean, people people, it's it's quite a confidence boost to recognize. Oh, I don't have to stop. I can I can continue to work. Is there really any difference between an under over or an over under? N not really. Not simply because we're doing. Even in the case where I break it down to like a three minute, because there are some workouts like I think Gould and there are some workouts where you simply do a single over effort and then you have to ride out an under effort and then you get into a recovery value. Yeah. There's yep. still plenty of benefit in that. It's oh, just yeah. one way of, of, of reshaping a, a similar goal workout, mm -hmm. the, a similar goal to the, to the same type of workout. Yeah. So no, it's, it's not like one gets marginally more beneficial than the other. Over the course of a 10 or 12 minute round of over unders, you're doing plenty of riding off that excess. Yes. Just because the last one pushes you up to a height and then gives you a recovery valley doesn't d detract from the quality of that workout. It's just not gonna make that big of an impact. Yep. If you feel it does, I mean, it's not hard to restructure a workout so that you finish on yeah. an under and you have to ride it out before you hit that recovery valley. But honestly, it's, it's not gonna change the TSS much. It's not gonna change the stimulus. It's not gonna change the adaptive process that follows. It's just not gonna be that big of an impact.